Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today, you guys, I have a makeup haul. Some of it's from TJ Maxx, some of it's from Target, some of it was gifted to me, most of it's from Ulta. So we're gonna go ahead and just get into it. Let's go ahead and talk about- Okay, so like I said, we're gonna go ahead and start with the TJ Maxx stuff first. So I did go today again, again, <laughs> and i picked up this japanesque brush i put I, I wanted to pick up a couple of japanesque brushes because i always see juicy jazz here on youtube always raving about whenever she finds just japanesque brushes at her tj maxx so i did go ahead and pick this one up this is the all over eyeshadow brush but i'm actually going to be using this for cream contour down the sides of my nose and around my mouth and then i did also pick up this brush which is their small domed powder brush and I figured that this would be good for cream contour around the face. See, so I feel like this is perfect and it's dense enough to blend out cream contour. And then, see, and I feel like this is perfect just to get like right there, like perfect sizes for that. So that is what I did want to go ahead and pick those up for. And then if you've seen in my last, in the TJ Maxx haul, I did already show a few of these things in that TJ Maxx and Target haul. But since this one is more makeup based, I thought I would go ahead and mention them in this one. So I did pick up this Hibiscus Cucumber and Fresh Rose Water Calming Facial Prime and Setting Mist. And yeah, my face is always flaring up, randomly breaking out. So I was like, you know what? I need something that just calms my skin. And so today I went back and I found this, or I picked up this one. This is the Fresh Rose Water and Aloe Refreshing Mist. And you guys, the mist on these is so refreshing. Like, even though only this one is called refreshing, the mist on these is so fine and light. But it, like, you can tell. I don't know. Like, it, it's weird to explain. You'll see it in the video where I do this makeup look. It feels so so good so those are all the things that i actually picked up from tj maxx just those two brushes and those two sprays so now i'm gonna go into some stuff that my sister faith came over and gifted me the other day and it's actually these um one thing was this no pore blum prime essence and you guys this felt so stinking good on my skin that like Ugh, like and as soon as I put it on like my skin like my pores really did vanish like just from this by itself on my skin like my skin looks so pretty and smooth so I would actually really love to try this out by itself another thing that she did go ahead and gift me are these Illuminati gel paint eyeliners so she did go ahead and give me electric pink and electric blue and that's just what those look like and I actually have electric blue on today and it looks really good in the waterline, you guys. And the boys already messed up my blue one because why wouldn't they? Like, why wouldn't they mess up my makeup that I just got? It's such a McKissin boy thing to do to their mom. <laughs> and so uh, she also gifted me these. And I can't wait to use them on a pamper routine night. But these Smile, Science, Smile Sciences prescription strength white teeth whitening pins and i'm excited to use this on a pamper night like when i'm just relaxing in the tub but i was reading this and it says to not rinse it off for 10 minutes or anything like that so i'm like do i have to apply this and then sit there with my mouth like this for like 30 minutes because it's not going to be the business and then the last thing she gave me was this chocolate gold soleil bronzer and this is actually really pretty like it's not as glittery or shimmery as i thought it was going to be but it does add a really pretty glow overall to your face so if you've been wanting to try this i recommend trying this i want to get the matte one and now that i know that i love this formula i used to have a really tiny one back when i first started my channel and as you guys saw i hit pan on that thing and so yeah I want to repurchase it, but I want to repurchase the full size of the matte Soleil. So <sighs> there's that, and that is everything that she gifted me. So let's go ahead and get into some stuff that I purchased from Target. 
so from Target, I did go ahead and pick up and all the stuff from Target you've seen in my TJ Maxx and Target haul. But some of you may not have watched that. So like I said, I'm just showing it again in a specific, like a makeup haul. So the LA Girl setting spray, I'm just setting sprays concealers foundations and primers like those are my jams like i love that's my my favorite part of makeup application is like watching the skin transformation so yeah that's why i went a little bit and you'll see in a minute i went a little bit ham on setting sprays just because i was running out of one i bought like 30 but anyways we're not going to talk about that so the next thing i did go ahead and pick up was this seriously satin lipstick and i have mine in the shade of cream and you guys, this, like, I thought this was going to have, like, mm. if you're any deeper than me, do not buy this. Because it's going to make your lips look real ashy. I had to do some blending. I had to draw, put a, put a colored gloss on top. And it was just, yeah, that's what that was. But I did go ahead and pick this up because I just wanted to try out their lipstick. So I might try another shade because this came off to me lighter than what it looks in the package. Like it was super light, like really light. And then I did go ahead and pick up, let's talk about this. I did go ahead and pick up this e.l.f. lip lacquer lip gloss. And I just honestly wanted to see if it compared to my Essence Shine 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 lip glosses because let me see which how much does this have in it see so this is the only point zero point zero eight fluid ounces and this one is zero point one six fluid ounces and they cost the same so i just wanted to see is this little elf lip lacquer clear gonna measure up to my shine 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 lip gloss because y'all know that's my jam Okay, so the next thing I got were these e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadows, and I got this one in Pumpkin Pie because I know I'm not the only one ready for fall. Like, I already got pumpkin scented, pumpkin and vanilla scented candles burning in my house. Soy candles, essential oil based soy candles, just so we're clear. And oh, my Lanta, they smell so good. Like, oh, give me all the fall vibes. I wanna live somewhere where seasons actually change where like you actually can tell the difference between spring and summer and fall and winter because in here in Lubbock in West Texas you can't tell the difference but yeah I really just wanted these uh eyeshadows because these are the kinds of things that I gravitate towards when I'm in a rush or just want something super fast so the other one that I did pick up was oh man the coffee the, the coffee and cream the cream and sugar one i said that because this color reminds me of coffee and then cream and sugar reminds me of coffee so yeah i did go ahead and pick up these and jessica braun is actually the one who intrigued me and motivated me and peer pressured me to buy the more neutral colored ones so yeah i feel like these actually go really good together and that is it from target yes so let's go ahead and get into ulta and i want i've been wanting this this is the morphe continuous setting mist you guys i can see why people run out of this so fast because when you're misting this on your face it just feels so like if i were to go to the zoo when it's hot or like just be outdoors when it's hot like i would take this with me and just like i would because that's how good it feels but anyways it's i can see why they run out of this fast because it's so light airy and misty that it's like mm, it's so refreshing i've been wanting this product since they launched it and then i guess this limited edition packaging they have it on sale right now i don't know if, if they still have it in stock this limited edition packaging was eight bucks on the ulta website so i was like perfect time i'm gonna pick it up because i don't want to pay 16 dollars for a setting spray mm -hmm. So yeah, the next thing I did, like I told you guys, I went crazy with setting spray. So right there, that's number four. So we're on number five. Yeah, but this one, I just bought the Taquito small one. And this is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. And it, Juicy Jazz again is always raving about this and how much she loves it and how long and how much it prolongs your makeup. And this is actually a three in one. So it prime corrects and sets. So yeah, I'm just super excited to try all of these out, you guys. Like, mmm. I tried this one and then I tried the refreshing one today. So the refreshing one I tried because I, I didn't do my makeup till about 3 p.m. and then, or 2 p.m. 
two o'clock. So I didn't do my makeup till about two o'clock and I had already been outside CJ Maxx, Walmart shopping and stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna clean my face with some witch hazel and then spray this on. And yeah, I really, really liked it. And this, yo, my skin looks so good today. Okay, so another thing that I got, again, a Juicy Jazz recommendation is the Essence Shine 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 Lip Gloss in the shade Let It Go. Now do not be deceived, whenever you buy this online and whenever you look at it it looks like it's going to be like a light milky pink color so i thought it was going to be a dupe for the fenty beauty one that's like milky white and pink but it's not so there's that but i will still use it it's still pretty it reminds me of my elf lip gloss in the champagne champagne glow champagne champion whatever it's called and then i did pick up this one because i figured that this would be a dupe for the, the Fenty one, the original one, which I think it is color-wise. I don't have the Fenty one, to Fenty one to compare it to, but from what I've seen, I feel like it does look like a dupe for it, and this is the shade No Brainer. Another thing I picked up for the lips is this Ride or Die Lip Balm, and a lot of this is out of the packaging because I already tried filming this, and then my phone died, and it cut me off like way early on in the video. Like I didn't even get to start talking about the products before it cut me off. So this says your lips ride or die bestie 100% vegan and cruelty free. And this is really thick. It's thicker than I expected. So this would definitely be a nighttime balm for me. This isn't something that I would wear during the day and like expect myself to be talking a lot because this is something like you have to put on and really allow your lips to soak it in because it is so thick but that doesn't mean that it's a bad product because it actually nourished my lips in the short amount of time that i had it on until i got to applying lip products in when i was filming this makeup so i got this shade just peachy okay another thing that i've been wanting to have wanting to buy since it came out is the elf jelly pop do primer and i've been wanting to buy this since it came out and then it went out of stock and then i didn't have money whenever it came back in stock and then they discontinued it and now they had it they brought it back and i was like i'm getting it i'm getting it before i miss my chance again while i have some extra coins so this is the jelly pop do primer and as you can see there's like a shiny glowy iridescence in there and it's so pretty and this with this might be my new priming combo because it made me look real cute and real poreless and real flawless. Okay, and this is the blush that I used today. So this is the Essence Blush Lighter in the shade Nude Twilight. So that is just what this looks like. So obviously one side is more matte, but still super glowy. And then this side is just a straight up highlighter. So definitely be, cra be crazy, be careful with that because as you can see, my lip, my lips, oh my gosh, my cheeks are super glowy. So if you don't like that, I would not recommend this. And then on my eyes today, what I have is this Makeup Revolution Neon Eyeshadow Palette. And I got the shade Electric Dreams. Now this wasn't terrible. The only shade that I would, that I could go without in this palette is this one. This one, it doesn't come off this color but it does well I guess it does so these so like all the other mattes are good it's just this one eyeshadow right here that just ruins it for the bunch and I'm just like Ugh. and I guess it's because I have other yellow eyeshadows to where I'm just like this yellow could have been better like that one yellow could have been a lot better and then yet again I bought another elf bite size eyeshadow palette and I got the shades hot jalapeno and I only got it for this olive green right here. So just so I could have an olive green eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow in my collection, I decided to go ahead and pick up this one. And come on, y'all, look at this gold right here. Like, look at this gold. Like the look, I'm, I'm gonna do an eyeshadow tutorial with just this palette and it's gonna be so cute. So yeah, that's why I went ahead and picked this up, really just for the olive one and you can't beat three bucks, so. Yeah, you guys, and then I also, I'll pop them up on the screen right here. I bought these shower steamers. I bought one that was called Breathe and one that was called Soothing because I don't always want to soak in a bath, but I do want to feel like the relaxation of like eucalyptus or lavender. And so I was like, well, shower steamers sound good. And I remember the only place um, I heard Casey Holmes speak of them one time was Ulta having these shower steamers. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and purchase those and see how they come out. They, all of my orders shipped separately. And you guys, they sent this big old box. 
this big old box for those little bit of Ulta products I talked about. Like, y'all, oh my goodness. So yeah, that is it for this haul. And if you did, stay till the end. Congratulations. I am doing my 500 subscriber giveaway. So there's only three rules. And that is, you must be subscribed to my channel. You must be following me on Instagram. And then I just want you to comment down below on to what, what, what was the first video that you watched of mine that made you subscribe to my channel and also leave your Instagram handle or your email down below so that way I can reach you if you do win my giveaway. So this giveaway will be up until August 15th. I don't know, I just randomly shot out a date. So until August 15th, this um, giveaway will be up. I wanna thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for every view. Thank you for every like. Thank you for every comment. And just thank you for your support, for every subscribe, for every share that you've ever done. This is my way of saying it. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I will go ahead and insert a clip now of what's going into the giveaway, as well as there will also be included a $20 gift card to Ulta or Sephora, whichever one is your choice. You just let me know down below or whenever I contact you and let you know that you won the giveaway. It'll be a $20 gift card to Ulta or Sephora, as well as... Um, a whole bunch of makeup products that you are looking at right now, I assume. So yeah, I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. Again, thank you guys for all of your support. I'm wishing it the best for the winner. I always pray that it's somebody who's truly in need and truly can't afford makeup. So yeah, please go ahead and enter that giveaway. Comment down below. Remember, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and comment down below what was the first video of mine that made you want to stick around with me and support me. So yeah, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.